every year is a new year. I think um, Corey Adams here has actually been to an Elite Eight before and knows what it feels like to win a regional championship. But our other players, our younger players, don't know what it's like to win a regional championship. So in a way, we have some comfort with maybe we've been here before, but in a way, it's a brand new experience for this team and this team's journey. And you know, we're really, really proud of winning today because we thought it was about a 50-50 match. We thought either team could win. And um, we had to battle and fight back. And we're just glad that we're the team that gets to play tomorrow because uh, it took a lot of effort and energy by a lot of our players, for sure. We're going to see um, there has to be some sort of leadership role there as if you've been there. And for girls that haven't been there, how do you take on that leadership role and say, you know, this is what it takes and this is how we go about business? Yeah, I just think uh, I just push the girls to play one point at a time, you know, and every point is different. Like Coach said, every game is different. So we bring a, we try to bring the same personality, we bring our Wingate personality to every game and every point. And uh, I just think that's really important in our I try to push a lot of energy on the girls and try to be strong vocally. So obviously, going um, going back to that streak, and you mentioned every year is different. How is this year different? And how have you guys been able to grow and progress as you know, new teammates come on and things of that nature? I think you guys can both answer that. Like, <laughs> um, I just think in past years we've um, haven't been very responsive, and I think this year we have a team that coming into this tournament we've changed and we have responded really well to adversity and situations during the game, before the game. Um, and so I think that's a big point and something different this year. And today, you know, one of the moments is we lost our best middle blocker and first team all-conference player, Anna Holmquist, to injury yesterday. And Lindley Mather came in and had 10 kills in one air and hit 500. And that shows our team that we got some additional players other than the starters. And you never know when that moment's going to happen that you need someone to step up but for Lindley Mather to come in and replace our first team all-conference leader as a middle and be able to have that kind of confidence and performance um, really, really served our team well today. So we shared the workload today and had a lot of players invested and uh, we're just really happy we get to play tomorrow again. So regardless of who you guys end up playing tomorrow, um, what's preparation be like going from tonight and in tomorrow for the championship game? Well, we're going to celebrate because uh, we knew it was a 50-50 match and we got a chance to win, so I think our team will enjoy it a little bit and then we got to get rest and, you know, it could be flagged around their home court. We know that could be really difficult. It could be Anderson in the final. If we get a chance to play Anderson again, we would love that opportunity. So I think what we're going to do is watch the next match, watch Flagler battle with Anderson and we'll be able to relax a little bit and enjoy the moment. But uh, our team has been on a journey this year. You know, we didn't win our, our conference championship. I think that's very disappointing to us. So we have maybe a little extra motivation to do something special tomorrow. So we're going to work together to see if we can make that happen.